Marsha P. Johnson threw the first glass at Stonewall, known as the shot glass heard around the world, sparking a riot and a revolution, or so the legend goes. The 60s were a hostile place for the LGBTQ community. Holding hands, kissing, dancing was illegal in New York. The state also had a strict gender-appropriate clothing statute enforcing dress according to one's sex. Citizens had to meet at secret gay bars, often owned by the mafia, who saw profit in catering to the shunned clientele by cutting costs however they wanted. The Stonewall in itself was particularly unkempt, but it was the only gay bar that allowed dancing at one of the few that welcomed drag queens and trans patrons. June 28, 1969, the police raided Stonewall and brutally began making arrests. Fed up with the constant harassment, the crowd fought back and a riot broke out. Whether or not she started it, Marsha joined the riot and the protests that followed. She would dedicate the rest of her life to heroically advocating for gay rights. She was a founding member of the Gay Liberation Front, a tireless advocate for trans youth and AIDS activists, and was known for wearing live flowers in her drag.